Okay, so I want to show you how to make this kinged cloud cover unit. So then you can make pretty things like this. We've got different light today because it's evening time and I'm using an overhead light thingy. Uh, just a bit odd, but anyhow, you work with what you can get. So we've covered how to do cloud cover before. I'll show you again really quickly because I want you to be able to get this technique down before we can then move on to the kinged version. So the regular cloud cover, um, the, way, the weave says 3.1 on Artisan Mail. Well, I've got a 3.2, um, which will do, which I'll show you for now. 18 SWG, um, 3.75 millimeters these are. Uh, if you were to use, I'll put it on the screen now. If you want the, because I haven't got <laughs> the Imperial version. Right, so to do the kinged one then, we go up in AR um, because obviously we're doubling the rings up so we need a bigger space to push those rings through. So I'm going to use these for the kinged version, which is 5.7 millimetres, 18 SWG. They've got an AR of 4.8 and I'll put in the screen here what you're going to need if you're working in Imperial in inches. Okay, so those two. You're also going to then want something to dangle off. I use these pretty feathers for this project. You can dangle off whatever you like. Okay, so let's quickly do a, a regular cloud cover just to make sure you've got that in your brain. So to make standard cloud cover, you need six rings. It's a bit dark, isn't it? See if I can make it a bit brighter. There you go. Right, okay, so... What we want to do is make a chain of four rings to start. So, nice and easy to start off. That's two. I'm doing this bit in the evening, so I'm doing this by a light above me. So the lighting's a bit different tonight. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. If not, this is a very pointless video. Unless you just like the sound of my voice. Okay, so we've got a chain of four. Right, what we wanna do now is lay them out like that. So what we've got is our chain of four. The first and third ring are facing that way. And then the second and fourth are facing that way. Okay, cool. Take the first one and flip it down. And take the fourth one and flip it up. And we've got this diamond shape. Now, you may have seen me doing this before with four wins. Uh, essentially, you start them both the same way, and then four wins is just a slightly different manipulation of them. But this is how we do cloud cover. So what we do now is we open up our last two rings. Okay. And now what we've got here... Oops. We've got these two are a set, let's say, and then those two are a set. The ones are on the same plane. So those two are going that way, and those two are going that way, okay? We want a ring in through that one and out through that one of that set, and then a ring in through that one and out through that one of that set, okay? So, put our thumb on it to pick it up. We want to put a ring through that one, and out through that one. Like that. And then the other two there, we wanna also put a ring through those two. In through that one, and out through that one. And that's it. There's your unit of cloud cover. So you can see those two in the middle touching each other. 
and that is cloud cover. Okay, so now you've got that, I can show you how to do the kinged version. Instead of starting off with a 1-1 one, one chain, we start off with a 2-2 two, two chain in the larger ring. Okay? And then the same thing applies. We want to put our rings down so they, hang on, fluffing around here. So they lie like that. So you've got the first and the third facing down that way, and then the second and the fourth facing that way. Okay, it's a little bit harder to keep track of them because it gets very busy with two, but it's the same thing. You fold the two down on the left, and then the two on the right, you fold up. So that diamond shape is still there, it's just a little bit harder to see. There's your set of two that go with that set of two, and that set of two goes with that set of two. So they are the ones you want to join. Okay, so let's take two open rings. We want to put a ring in through those two and come out through those two. Those are the two on the same plane facing that way. So we're going to pick him up by putting our thumb down on him so we don't lose that configuration. We're going to go through there and come out of there like that. And then you can see our other two that are on the same plane there, look. Those two there and those two there. So you want to put a ring in through those two and out through those two. And we will be putting another one in each of those positions because we want to king it. And kinged is when you've just got, because I can't remember if I've already said this, kinged is where you've got two in the position of one. So you've just doubled up on all the rings. So where you've got each single ring now, we want to put another ring through. So that one there wants to go through there and through there. So we've got one in the same place. And then we want to double up that single ring up there. So through that one and through that one. And close them up. And there you go. You've got your king. Ooh, my dogs are home. Your king unit. Right there. So now to keep it sturdy and to add bits and pieces on, what I do, pick the unit up and you want to put a ring. So you've got that two set of two and that set of two. And you want to put it through both like that. See? And do a map. And then the same on the bottom. So there's the bottom. We want to go through those two and through those two. Like that. And there you go. So now what you can do, as I've done with this one, is put an ear hook in that one and then dangle pretties off the bottom.